Hey guys, this is Peter, and for the past month I've had the opportunity to ride a new bike. This one's from Van Powers and it's called the Urban Glide. I actually think this could be the perfect bike. So let me show you why um, and just take you through all the features that I love about it. So it's unlike any bike I've seen in before. It's a step through design, quite elegant, it has some beautiful finishes on it. It does come in three different models. There's a standard, a pro, and the ultra, and three different price points as well. So I rode the Pro, so I'm going to take you through on that one, but I love the price point. And look, there's different colors here on all of these. We can, uh, and, and I guess the Ultra comes in uh, this ultra color, I suppose. But here, I'm going to click on this Pro Glide, take you through some of the specs. Oh, there was two different sizes as well, and I love that uh, because you do want to make sure that we fit the people right. So I got the large, but I could have probably fit on the small. I'm right there on the edge right around 5'9", so it could have been either way, but I did get the larger one. This bike is, and I got the gray color. I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, I love the simplicity of the design, but there's so many cool features on this, and that's why it's done so well in the reviews. Every review that you're gonna see on this steps you through all the features, uh, including its app. Look at look where the handlebars versus the seat are. It's a nice swept back feels like a beach cruiser. It really has a nice feel to it. So uh, here's some of the specs. It is 70 pounds, which kind of gave me a little pause, but it has plenty of power, plenty of battery, very solid feeling bike. Uh, that's why every influencer from Gadgeteer to Forbes to uh, uh, Torque News to Trend Hunter to Yahoo Finance to AP News they're all saying five out of five stars. And I gotta say, I'm gonna throw mine in there as well. Say five out of five stars. Let me show you this bike and call out some of the cool features and let's take it on a ride. All right, well, here's my bike and I love the way it looks. It has this elegant design, a beautiful paint job and a fully integrated battery. That's what makes it look, well, here it is. It's a 690 watt hour battery. Yeah, and that, that battery is just fully integrated. You're never gonna have to worry about it. The motor in the back is what makes it go. This is 500 watts, 48 volts. It'll climb all every hill that I threw at it. Here's one that I saw someone, they were walking backwards up the hill, it's so steep. Uh, and this car carries you up through it, no problem. Don't worry, I go up even bigger hills. This has gone at every hill that I've thrown at it. Uh, this is another one. This one's from the beach, goes straight up. This is the kind of hill that will ruin a bike ride for you because well, you just have to get out and push, but not with this bike. Look, I'll even go one-handed uh, in a bit. But look, you can see the retaining walls. This is indeed a steep, long hill. I pushed my bike up this hill a dozen times. Look, one hand, no problem. Absolutely a pleasure to ride. This has leveled the playing field, if you will. So it, it just makes it so easy to climb up hills like this. All right, well, let me step you through a few of the other design features. Well, there is a step through design and that I actually really like. It makes the bike really comfortable, as does the seat. Now, I was worried about that not having enough padding, but take a look at this. There's an integrated shock absorber in the seat post, so that makes that seat plenty comfortable. It has integrated lights, not just for being able to see, but to see by. Front and rear, that's not just a tail light, that is a brake light, it pulses when you brake and that is a complete rack. So you can actually carry your groceries as well. I love this thing. The display is bright and vivid and it's like they thought of everything. There's a password so no one borrows my bike. I like that feature a lot. And look at this. You're actually able to charge your phone. Now the phone case is mine, but uh, there is a throttle on this. It is a class two bike. You can throttle it as well as pedal it. And there's the neck that allows you to adjust the height. No one wants to be hunched over. <laughs> this bike is fantastic. All right, I'm gonna take it on a, a ride down the hill. Normally, I wouldn't go down to the city because uh, when you go down to the city flats, A, you have to come back up, but it's a steep hill and you know, you gotta have some good brakes on this bike. So this was no problem whatsoever. Hydraulic disc brakes. So makes it really, really easy. And they're large disc brakes. So, hey, this, this is our little pier that made in the national headlines this year because it washed out. So you can see the big hole in the pier. Uh, they're going to fix that soon. They got all the restaurants up and going, though. So uh, that's uh, for all the beachgoers. That's good. 
But uh, it is a beautiful spot. And as we're going to see, we're going to start from sea level and climb back up. You know, this is the part of the hill where you'd be standing on your brakes, but there's no problem for this. And this is where you'd be lamenting having to pedal back up. But again, no problem. As you're going to see, I don't get out of the seat. I just move my legs and it carries me up every hill that I try. I'll even stop at a stop sign. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, here we are. We're down to the city center. So I'm going to pedal through. Yeah, there are cute little restaurants along the water. Makes it fun. But um, this bike enables me to get, this is the only way to get downtown, by the way, because on a bike, you don't have to pay for parking. You can't get any parking tickets. And now that I can climb back out, fantastic. Might even stop in and get a margarita. Yeah, so all the little restaurants are down here. We'll jump to the other side. Yeah, the beach is right in front of us. But you've seen the beach before. You can see on my little map, I can see uh, it has an integrated application for this and here we're going to climb out the other side. It is neat to have a mapping function. I didn't use the app very often, but look, this hill would ruin any bike ride because you just have to stop and push up the hill. And you wouldn't want to push this bike up a hill, not at 70 pounds, but it's no problem. Look, I'm riding it with one hand. It's no problem whatsoever. And we're going to even, well, I guess at the next corner, we're going to take a right and keep going because this is this is where it would be a tough push but look at this no problem whatsoever it makes the whole act of bicycle riding effortless once again super easy let me just go over to uh turn down one of these streets and show you where we are there we go there, there now we can see the pier there's the pier with the hole in it and we're way above the palm trees, and I, palm trees are about 50 feet. So we are way above them. We're probably at about, I don't know, 70 or 80 feet above the city. That is great. All right, so I also wanted to take it out on the trail because it does have shock absorbers. Remember the seat post? And it also does have front shocks. So yeah, let's take it on some trails. It does have kind of crossover tires on it. So those are great. And uh, <laughs> you don't want to make a mistake. This is not a trail you'd want to ride at night. So yeah, uh, but it is a beautiful, beautiful um, spot. And yes, I did go to the end of the earth for you guys to make this video. <laughs> yeah, those are people down there. This is definitely, oh, look at that little washout. That would not be good at night. Yeah. But uh, no, this has been a lot of fun. I'm going to go climb some more hills. Just kind of take a little survey of where we are. The edge of the earth. All right, well, here's how it comes to you. They send you one large box, and it's packed very well. There, inside, everything's wrapped well. Uh, protecting that paint job, it absolutely looks wonderful. I would get some, uh, some clippers to cut through all those straps because it makes it so much easier. And uh, this is what it looks like. This is, uh, comes with all the tools you'll need and all the accessories. So uh, there's the, the pedals for a course and it comes with the lights and the manuals. There are videos for exactly how to put this together. There's all the little pieces, even keys to unlock the battery. All you've got to do is put on the handlebars and um, uh, the front wheel. I put the front wheel up, you take it to upside down because of the disc brake, you got to fit it in there. All the wires are color coded and they have arrows on them. It's really hard to mess it up. They just click together once you're done. There's the display. I really like that display. You can toggle through it quite easily. It shows you everything. And again, that's the motor. Uh, that is the part that makes it climb hills so easily. Of course, the integrated lights, front and rear, once again. Look at the, look at the tolerance on those fenders. It's right there. This is a very well-made bike, and you can see the tires. That's pretty good. I love the way the, this bike looks. And look at this, the seat to handlebar ratio. They're up, it rides like a beach cruiser. So that's what makes this uh, really one of my favorite bikes that I've ridden. I love the rack, solid kickstand, the look of it. The brakes are phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal. And the power out of this motor and a battery that I just can't churn through. Oh, here's a cool feature. If you hold that little button down at the bottom, the bike will walk itself. 
You can imagine trying to push a 70 pound bike up a dirt hill. But look, I got it with one hand. It's walking itself at a walking pace. It'll walk itself up the hill. Fantastic. Even has a little bell. So yeah, this is just fun. My wife was mad. She's like, where the hell did you go for so long? I was like, we went for a bike ride. It was absolutely phenomenal. This is the way that I like to spend time. And it's good exercise. I can turn it down and get less assistance and really get some exercise going. But I mean, it's just beautiful. Scenic, and this is a great bike. This is, I think, my favorite bike that I've ever owned. And this is much less than the bike that I bought, oh, I guess a couple years ago now. I've got over 8,000 miles on it. And this one will probably end up the same. So there you go, guys. I had a great time riding this bike, and I know that you'll like it too. Van Powers makes a bunch of different bikes, so if this isn't quite your deal, take a look at some of the other ones. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.